Okay, so I'm going to show you in Realist really quickly how to how to customize a search. So when you log into Realist, um, you're going to have here an option for quick search, and then you're going to have my searches. So the quick search, there's nothing really you can do with it. It's just the default there. But on my searches, there's this option here. See that highlights? It's called customize search. So this is going to give you a lot of available or a lot of custom features. It'll also allow you to save this as a specific search that you can come back and use and pull over and over again once you save it. So we're gonna to wanna to click on customize. And the point of what I'm trying to show you today is how you can find absentee owners within a subdivision. Now you can use this customize search to find many different things, types of lenders, types of loans, uh, whether the person's in foreclosure or distress. So I'm gonna to touch on those things real quick because it's great ways to be able to prospect and, um, and build mailing lists. And postcards still do work and mailing list letters work as well. Um, so this is a great way to do it. So we're gonna start by customizing the search. First thing we're gonna to go to is owner category. And you'll see over here, this is all of the default stuff that's already selected, um, that's already there. So we're gonna add a few things to that. We're gonna add whether it's owner occupant by checking the button. And if you scroll down over here, you'll notice now owner occupant is, is here. So I'm also going to add form, and then I might as well just go ahead and I can put all of this same stuff in here. So I can put all of these things. So I've added all of that down here. Now to rearrange these to make them make a little bit more sense, um, what you can do is you can put them in an order by just holding and dragging them. So see mailing address, I can add up here, mailing zip and so forth. So now I have it all in the correct order and owner's name should be on there somewhere. So just really quickly, I want to show you another thing, MLS listing. So you can, you can search by different list MLS listing information. You can also search by foreclosed and distress. So if we want to put distress sales or foreclosure indicators or auction dates, another great way to target specific people. With the mortgage tab, it'll just have the lender's name, but there's certain lenders you might want to target and so forth. And then of course, all these other things should be self-explanatory and make sense. So once you've done all of those, I would click apply. And now what we'll do to test it, we'll come in and we'll, we'll use our custom search. So now if you see, I scroll down here, I now have the option of looking for distress sales. I have the option of looking for owner occupants and even people in foreign countries. So how that'll work is I'm gonna pick a simple subdivision real quick. And I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna do townhomes west in Port Orange. So here's Townhomes West. There's a lot of rentals in that particular area. And I'm going to check multiple ones just to make sure they're all the same subdivision, but sometimes things are classified differently. So I've checked all four of those for Townhomes West, and I'm going to hit apply. Now that I'm here, you'll see here at the bottom, it says there's 117 townhomes in that community. So what I want to do to test to make sure it's working right is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to say, I only want to mail to the owner occupant or the non owner occupants because I wanna be able to target these people who probably don't know a realtor or do not have a connection. So I come down here and I put no. So it's gonna say owner occupant, no. Instantly you see it's changed to 63. So it's gotten rid of about half, a little over half of all, or it's left about half. So that's telling me that those people are, are um, non-owner occupants in the area. Then I hit search and it will go ahead and pull the list. Now you can customize this table and you can move things around here as well by this little section here called customize table. And if by, for some reason, yours is defaulted like this, which I don't find very helpful, you can over here in the left corner, you can go ahead and switch it to the table view, which I find is much better. And you can customize this table by clicking customize and it'll so show and hide columns. So basically you just pick the columns that you would want to show and hide. So if I didn't care about heated square footage in there, um, I didn't care about um, whatever else in here, baths or something like that, I can go ahead and click or unclick any of those options, hit apply, and it'll readjust my table so that now I can see. Now the last thing about table, tables that can be helpful are you see these two little up and down arrows. These two little up and down arrows will allow you to sort by those things. So we can go ahead and sort by owner's name if we want to have it alphabetical to see if there's multiple 
people that have the same name. So you'll see some of these people own multiple properties in there. You could send them multiple letters or you can filter out duplicates, which we'll talk about later at another time. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. That is a way that you can quickly get in here and customize your search. Okay, you can also save your search here. So I can save it and call it Townhomes West. And then anytime I wanna go in and remake that search, it'll be available for me here under saved searches. So like I said, it's a quick and easy way for you to get in there and find people to prospect. If you have more questions on this, get with us and let us know. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.